Okay, number seven. We are going to do some graphs. The graph of the equation y is equal to x squared minus six x plus five. It's an example of a parabola. All right. Again, let me start off by making some notes. What do we need to know in order to graph this equation? So to graph an equation like this, a parabola. Yeah, it's really hard for me to say this word. So I just um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. However, yeah, however, okay, to do this, first, we must need a slope, um, not a slope, we need the vertex, okay, so this is the first thing that we need, we need the vertex of the parabola, and we have two situations though, okay, if we have the equation in the form of y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, then, the vertex of this equation, of this graph, the, par uh, the parabola, the vertex is at x is equal to negative b over 2a. The vertex formula, okay? This formula helps us to find the vertex, the x value of the vertex, all right? And then we can just, um, once we have the x, we can just plug in into or, uh, the original equation and we can find y. Or if we have another situation, Let's say if the given equation is in the form of a parentheses x comma h squared plus k, then the vertex, the vertex is the point h comma k. Even though we are subtracting h, but um, the vertex is actually h. Right, even though this is a negative, but it's actually a, it's a h. Okay, it's a positive h. And k. This depends on what the uh, h value is, and hopefully we will see some examples later on. So these are the two things that we must need first. Okay, so either the vertex formula, or if the equation is in the uh, perfect square form like this, then we can just say h comma k. It's the um, the the vertex. But in this case, number seven, we are going to use this to find the, uh, the vertex. And once we have the vertex, second, we just need to make a table. Make a table. Okay. Sometimes the question may ask you to find the x-intercepts, but if it does not, then um, make a table just uh, works pretty well. That's how I like to do it. Okay, here we go. Question seven. I have y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5. This is exactly in the form of um, the first situation right here. So, to find the vertex, we are going to use the formula right here, negative b over 2a. Because we have ax squared plus bx plus c, right? So let me make a note on the side that we know a it's the number in front of the x squared which in this case is 1, right? We have 1x squared. So a is equal to 1. And b is equal to negative 6. We have to account for this sign right here. b is equal to negative 6. And c is equal to 5. Even though the c doesn't matter right here. But if you are using a quadratic, equi uh, quadratic formula to, um, to find the, uh, the solution of quadratic equations, this is what we need to do um, at first as well. Okay. So, vertex, the x value of the vertex is going to be at negative b over 2a. And then we have negative, I see the b, let me put a parenthesis. And then b is negative 6, so I'm going to put that inside of this parenthesis. Over 2, 2 from the formula. I see the a from the formula, I'm going to open a parenthesis, and then I'm going to put a 1 inside of that parenthesis, because a is equal to 1. So on the top, I have negative times negative 6, which is a positive 6. Over the bottom, 2 times 1, which is 2. And then 6 divided by 2, that's equal to a nice number 3. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is the x value of the vertex. We need, to, uh, make the, we need to find the y value. But with this, I can make a table, and this is how we are going to do it. Okay, so I make a table, I have the x value, and then the y value, the y is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5. 
And this is how we're going to do it. Uh, let me just do it like this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. We know the vertex is going to be at x is equal to 3. And I'm going to put a 3 right here. Okay, I'm going to put a 3 right here because that's the vertex. So I'll make a note right here, the vertex. It's going to be in the middle. That's why we put it in the middle. The vertex is either the highest point or the lowest point of the parabola. Alright? So x is equal to 3. We just need to plug it into this equation. Let's see. Y is equal to... Um, I should use a parenthesis because sometimes it's a negative number, but in this case it's 3, positive 3. 3 squared minus 6, and then see the x, parenthesis, I need plug in the 3 right here, and then plus 5. And then just do the calculation, or you can just use your calculator, but I'm just going to do the work by hand. So 3 times 3, right, because that's 3 squared, that's equal to 9, minus 6 times 3 is 18, plus 5. Okay, so 9 minus um, 18 is negative 9, and then plus 5 is negative 4. So I have my point, then my third column will be the point. This point is also the vertex. It's going to be 3, comma, negative 4. Okay, and then once we pick 3, right, we have the x value of um, 3, we're just going to select some of its neighbor numbers. We have 3. Of course, we're going to choose um, 4, right, because that's a number after 3. And we can also choose 2, right? And then you want to make, if you want to make your parabola nice and pretty, you want to make um, 5 numbers. So I will choose 5, and then choose 1. Okay, and then just do the work. Uh, maybe let me do this one. I'll just do it in this order. So I have uh, x squared, so put parentheses square. Put the 5 inside, minus 6, parentheses, and put the 5 inside of the parentheses, plus 5. This is equal to 25 minus 30, plus 5. And we will have, this is 25 minus 30 is negative 5, plus 5 is equal to 0. So the point, right, will have x value is equal to 5, the y value is equal to 0. Do the same for this one. y is equal to parentheses square and put a 4 inside minus 6 after x. So put a parentheses, put a 4 inside, and then plus the 5. And then just do the calculation. 4 square is 16. 16 minus four time, uh, 6 times 4 is 24. And then plus 5. Okay, 16 minus 24 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. And here we have 4 comma negative 3. Okay? And let me not be lazy. Okay, let's not be lazy. I'm just going to work out this 2 as well. So y is equal to when x is equal to 2. x squared, so put parentheses, square, put a 2 inside. And then I have minus 6. I see the x, put parentheses, put a 2 inside. And then plus 5. And here we have 2 squared is equal to 4. Minus uh, 6 times 2 is 12. Plus 5. 4 minus 12 should be negative 8. And then plus 5 should be negative 3. Right? Minus 3. And I cannot actually know the answer um, before we do this. Before we do this one. Why? Because this two should match. Okay, these two y values should match. Since we found the, uh, the vertex, it's in the middle, and parabola is um, symmetric, it's symmetrical. So the y value that you get right here should match with the y value that you get right here. Okay, but I just want to show you um, the, the calculation, and then we actually got um, the same value. So, yeah, it's good. It's good to double check. Two comma negative three. Last one, the 1. So before I do this calculation, before I even set this up, what do you think what the answer is? And you should know that the answer should come out to be 0. Because if this two match, this two y value should also match. Let's check this out. Okay, x squared. So let me put parentheses, square, and then put a 1 inside. I have minus 6x. So put a parentheses, 
and x now is equal to 1, plus 5. Okay, so 1 squared is equal to 1, um, that's negative 6, plus 5. And as we see that, 1 minus 6 is equal to negative 5, plus 5. Yes, it's 0. Oop, that looks like a, ah, this is a 0. Okay. That, that's a 0. <laughs> but I don't know, for some reason it looks like a head. Yeah, anyways. Okay, so this is 1, 0, just as advertised right here. Okay? Alright, now, uh, we are going to use these points and do the graph. Um, just depends if the test gives you um, graph paper or not, but if, if, it, if it gives you a graph paper, like a, a little graph, the grids, then you can just use the grids. If not, just try to make your um, graph pretty, alright? Just like how I'm going to show you right here. So my x value, my y value, and then I just need to look at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for x. So let me do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, most likely, the the y values are negative, so let me go down first. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then go up a little bit, too. I'm not going to bother with the negative side of the x. Okay, so let me label the vertex first, okay? It's 3, comma, negative 4. So you start off um, from the center, go to the right three times, 1, 2, 3 and then go down four times, one, two, three, four, so it should be somewhere right here. So that's the vertex. And then, uh, four comma negative three, and then two comma negative three, right? This is three for the x, so the next number will be four, and then we want to go to negative three, so it will be right here. And then this is two, and then one negative three for y, it will be right there. And then we have five comma zero, so this is 4, 5, x value is equal to 5, and y value is equal to 0. So we have another point right there. 1, 0. So this is the x value 2, this is the x value 1. x value is equal to 1, the y value is equal to 0. So it's right there. So we have 5 points. Connect these 5 points with a nice U-shaped graph. It's like a, like a curve. Okay, then we will get our graph. And just make sure that you connect all the points and then you extend it. Don't just stop right here because this graph is, um, it, it's uh, keep going up forever. And this will be the answer. This is the answer that we're looking for. Okay? If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. Let me know.